We left off. Our adventurers got out of the dungeon. And the village that they were in was ransacked by a bunch of dro. Uh, dro raiders. So they followed the trail to a cave in a hill. About a half day's travel outside of the village. They slept the night and were ambushed by the drow. Uh, Mirth and Zestra made quick work of all of the little henchmen and they followed the drow into the cave. Most of them were knocked unconscious or stuck by web. Mirth finished off giant spiders by himself somehow by some miracle <laughs> they were able to free all of the prisoners one of the dro escaping and Gildal was knocked unconscious most of them went outside the cave and Garnet decided to scout ahead a little bit she found four passages she went down one a little ways and then returned to go down the next and that is where we pick up. So, what are y'all doing? I can't rem You are still unconscious. We are with the villagers. You are with the we're, villagers. We're all with the villagers. He's unconscious. I'm nursing my wounds. Are you with the villagers? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Staring expectantly at the cave. It's been about a half hour, if I remember correctly, since uh, Garnet went into the cave. So, what are you doing? Besides you, you're, you're asleep. I'm sitting next to him. I'm <laughs> dreaming about ripping cultists' heads off. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a very wonderful dream. <laughs> <laughs> While you guys are nursing your wounds and dreaming about murdering cultists, Caitlin, you are at the four-way, well... There's a path behind you, and then there's four open caves in front of you. The road. A very large fork in the road, yes. A you went to the one far one left. To be exact. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the far left one. It's been about 30, 45 minutes, about really, five, ten minute walk back. I really, really want to see what's in the others, but I am not doing so hot. And if I die... There is no one here to heal me with me. We're out of potions, too. Uh, I'm, no, actually, I still have my own potions. I wonder how well that'll work with the anti-magic marble. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So, I... You did that last time. Yeah, we did. Double-edged sword. So, I'm going <laughs> to mutter a small string of curses my stupid predicament as I start to take the 15 minute walk back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you take the walk back. Doesn't take too long here. Nothing happens on the way back. You get back. Villages are still a little shaken. It's getting... Sun is just peeking over the horizon. It's just barely getting to morning as you walk out of the cave. Gildar's unconscious. Zestra is sitting there waiting for him to awake. And I'm <laughs> napping. Your brother is napping. Yes. Mm-hmm. You see this little pile of cloth and white fuzz. I'm going to leave out and ruffle his hair <laughs> before I sit next to him. Oh. And then ask Zest, did anything interesting happen while I was out? Ow, while I was that out hurts. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> two bucks. That's what's wrong. Are you awake, sleepyhead? Yes, no thanks to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There uh, goes down four ways. I went down one. I don't know what's in the others. Mm. The sun's coming up, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I am facing away from the sun with my head. <laughs> 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 Only my ears are peeking out. <laughs> I guess that's good, though, because it means that we won't be attacked by any drought during the day, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I lost a full night's sleep. <laughs> so should we escort these villagers back to their home, just to make sure they're not also attacked by evil gnomes? <laughs> Red gems. <laughs> or grasshoppers. <laughs> <laughs> 
make sure they don't stub their toes. Poor what? villagers. <laughs> rabid gophers. <laughs> they they die. thing, rabid gophers. They die so fast. <laughs> yeah, I have commoners on here. They have ten hemp points. And ten armor class. Yeah, quests like well. these, people die all the time. They drop, like, they drop like flies. Oh no, it's only five hit points, isn't it? Uh, I think it's somewhere around there. No, did, 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 has the wagon still... The wagon was still in the... Uh, if thing, but there's watched, nothing to pull it. There's nothing to pull it? The giant spiders were the ones that pulled oh, the wagons. Oh, that's right. Okay, I was going to suggest... No, I am not pulling the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an enlarged spell. <laughs> Isn't that like some sort of wizard spell where you can summon a horse or something? <laughs> I don't know. Is there? I'm going to start what, what, flipping what through can, the magic What can't book. magic do? I don't know. Anything and everything. What do you need it to do? I need it, maybe, I might need it to pull a wagon so we can carry his body over when we escort the villagers back. Well, it might be able to do that, but I wouldn't know. I can't do that. I most certainly cannot. <laughs> Strength of zero. I mean, I could do more magic in my sleep than she could. No offense. Hey, I have very powerful magic. Yes, Just alas, only for a, a short few. time. She did kill This has been you. a short slip. This has been a short rest, right? Yes. I killed you with a cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> that is also true. Yes, and I killed mo- I killed a large group of soldiers and two giant spiders all on my lonesome. Four so hit I. points. I was going to say, I could have sworn it was around five. And my, I was right on the armor class, though. Ten. Ten. It's As because that's basic, because yes, everything, everything all is their ten. stats is ten. <laughs> As the sun starts coming up, you notice that the drill weapons are slowly just disintegrating. Quick, hide Hold them! On. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step in front of one. Uh, I'm gonna step so my sh- my uh, shadow is covering one just to see what happens. It starts disintegrating. And I'm gonna step back out. <laughs> and it starts disintegrating. And I'm gonna step forward. <laughs> <laughs> and it continues. Caitlin, and... garnets, you're ruining the merchandise. <laughs> I'm gonna grab them and hastily stuff them in my cloak. Okay. <laughs> Merchandise? I peek. <laughs> a bunch of drow stuff. Oh. You okay with selling that? Yeah. Why wouldn't you be? Again, racism Not... is totally okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, last I checked, they disowned her. Practically. Mm, they can't disown you if they don't know where you are. Well, they have disowned you, and they're hunting you down. And last I checked, he seemed rather too pleased. He seemed rather tickled gray to see you. Yeah. Good point. That and your leg of an ox here. Can I be awake yet? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I want to have a cutting remark. Didn't you uh, burn all of your... Um... Yeah, he, I think he did. You hit dice? Healing. That's what they're called. Hit, hit dice. dice, yeah. So. Yes, I burnt everything. But no, <laughs> we're still asleep. Except for spell slots. Oh, but being me, I didn't collect any healing spells. <laughs> how, many, how, how do you roll for a short rest again for hit um, dice? Your hit dice, you can just use how Oh, no, we do have a healing have. spell. The amount you have is equal to your level. That's right. So you have 40 <laughs> that required? Use. Just kidding. No, it's not required. <laughs> I wish it was required by the warlock. Then. Wouldn't that be nice? Because then it doesn't go against your spells that you know. So, what are you doing? You're kind of stranded with a very large minotaur, still unconscious. Can't you, like, levitate him or something? Well, wouldn't that be a nice trick? Let me look at my spell book of levitating giant oxen. You haven't memorized it yet? No, of course not. I haven't even found anything like that yet. <laughs> I could try to experiment that with that if you want me to. I mean, I think she might be able to do it. Nope. No, she no. cannot do it. Is there any... Spell? Here, wait, I'm going to see if I can wake him up. Sis, I need your water skin. <laughs> Drapes <so. laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to... I gonna wake up. <laughs> I'm not going to splash it on him. I'm just going to use it to wake him up. I'm going to hit his snout with <laughs> And his head just... Puck. And then I punch you. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt you at all because I have no strength. <laughs> Where <laughs> did you grow up? <laughs> weakling. Hits weakling. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 
I've done it. <laughs> I'm not really a weakling. I just he has have... decent strength. Oh yeah, you got decent. I work strength. on a ship. Yeah. Why wouldn't good. I have decent strength? <laughs> You're a wizard. <laughs> He's physically fit for a wizard. I find that classist. <laughs> I hand her back her water. <laughs> I'm gonna take a swig. <laughs> It tastes like water. Are we next to any kind of water? Um, the ocean is about <laughs> half days travel. So no. Duh. I mean, do you want to use what's in my pack? I can use. Right. I take my red feather out from my ear and start to wiggle mm -hmm. it in front of his nose. It does nothing. I'm just going to straight up slap him. He is unconscious. Nothing is going to wake him up. All right, are you sure? I'm going to look at Zestra. I haven't tried that. I'm going to look at Zestra while he's making a fool of himself. And are you sure there's no magic whatsoever you have up your deep, deep, impossibly weird sleeves to move him? The closest I could get is turn my familiar into an octopus. You, you have a familiar? Yes, pull that little suit of dragon. She was hiding. <laughs> oh. It's not that small. No, it's little. Okay. It's a baby pseudo dragon. <laughs> it's a teeny sized pseudo dragon. <laughs> He'd react to a bite? No. <laughs> yeah, that saves. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you would react. Okay, well. Alright, I have an idea, I'm but I need time. Up. I'm gonna pull up my last. Health potion. Unless one of you wants to give him a kiss of life. I volunteer. <laughs> How do you kiss a cow? On the lips. Carefully. <laughs> Their lips go what's all the way idea? across. No, what's, what's you idea? have more space to kiss. All right. My dear, now a quick. Does anyone here have some kind of pot or a big bowl? Are you going to summon water? No, I can't do that. I'm going to fill it with a bunch of frost until I get a big cube of ice. Oh. <laughs> Melt that cube of ice. So cool you're it going down. To fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> Through a long process, yes. I don't remember using my health potion. Oh. So uh, my smilers are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna pull my healing potion. You have that? Why didn't you say anything? I'm gonna step back ten feet. I'll buy you. we'll get you he'll get you a new one later. I'll make sure he does. <laughs> I can't <laughs> afford that. <laughs> Cat's pockets, oh no. <laughs> Mm. Right, so I'm just going to open it, so his mouth sure and just happen. dump it down his throat. Okay. Yay. And... Yes, that one. For the record, I hope he chokes. <laughs> no, you don't. The irony of dying to a health potion. <laughs> Which we have discussed. Three. Yes. Uh, that is five. It's okay. Yes. I'm conscious. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay. The minute Morning, the sunshine! Sunshine. Get up and smell the sea breeze. I don't like sunshine. Come on, you lazy cow of a barnacle. He can snap you in two. He can. Easily. All right then. I don't think a I very can do big it right bump. now. <laughs> you awake? It is. The sun is starting to rise. You have the taste of a healing potion. In your mouth. Are you awake yet, sunshine? Yes. I don't want I to push be. You away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, good. I, we need you to get up off your rump and get moving. Okay, let's go. Where? We're going back to town. Might as well get these people back to town. So that way we can live, sleep in like a barn at least. Then I want to collapse the cave. 